one, and I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that. All kind. Hey, some guy came, pulled up here, cussed me out. I can't hear him though. They, but I'm sure I can pull up my security camera. But I ain't gonna even. I ain't even gonna give him the time of day to listen to that one. But yeah, so we're we're trying to get to a thousand people. We're trying to get to a thousand people, or we're trying to get to a hundred thousand likes. Oh, I'm not lying, honey. I, I wouldn't come back on live if I didn't have a phone call. You must not have been on my last live. Like, I, I, that's one thing. Listen, one thing you could count on. I ain't going to lie. I, you could just. Yeah, I'm not going to come up here and blow smoke up anyone's ass and, and act like I've done something that I haven't done. I've been in contact with the homeowner for over a month now. And I just, I told y'all, he had me go on, he gave me written permission to go on this property, which he owns, and take pictures and videos and send it to him. So, I, when I've seen this motorhome here, I walked right over there, took the pictures and videos he asked for and sent them to him, okay? I sent them the videos and he, he wanted me to call him while I was on my last live. We had like, we had like a thousand people in here. We were sitting at like 100,000 likes. I had to exit the live. I just got off the phone with them. And I, I'm going to play y'all the recording. Let's get 1,000 people in here, share the live, and let's, or let's get to back to where we were, 100,000 likes or 50,000. And I will play, I'll play the, the phone call for y'all of what's going to go down in the next few days. What's going to go down in the next few days? And listen... The only one that's going to lose here is Jen. All these people that's got shit to say, all these people that's got shit to say, they ain't going to lose shit. I feel bad for Jen. Look, they're going to do the fireworks over the roof again. That's what they do when they're mad at us. They shoot fireworks in our yard. You seen what they just did? They do it all the time. All, all nights, all hours of the night, they'll do it. They'll just shoot a firework into our yard. Yeah. I got better than fireworks. They just don't realize that. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to play the phone call. We're going to play the phone call. Let's just play it. We got enough people in here. Yeah, there's five. Should we play the first part or the second part? Let's play the first part first. So they called you and told, asked you if, they, if you'd want to sell it? Yeah. Yeah. And then um, they hung up on me when I said, well, who's this? Then I try calling the number back today and yesterday, and I get the voice message, the voicemail with nothing on it except you. Yeah. Voicemail. Yeah. That's Thank you, Jersey Girl. Me to that because I think it's one of them. It's got to be uh, one of them because because uh, they're aware that I've contacted you. Um, because right. I, I told them they better clean it out because because I might not be able to do nothing, but the landowner will be able to do something. And then last night, all of a sudden, they moved moved on this other uh, this other uh, motorhome, and now they're all up in arms over it. And um, I don't, I just don't know what to do about it because it's just. So I'm going to call the cops. You know, first thing tomorrow, I'm going to call the cops. But um, I don't, you know, I don't feel like they get through papers. Uh, do you know what my street address is there? You don't have an actual address there. There's no okay, physical okay. address, um, okay. but I can because I can right, tell you the you. lot number. Yeah, I got the lot number and stuff. Yeah, there is no, um, there is no. I paid the tax like a month ago. You know, when you first notified me, I paid yeah. the tax. Well, so they, they had, you know, whatever paper they have. You know, and actually, the thing that you sent me is another property in Newport Ritchie. You know, with that tax number. Oh. Oh, that's another property I own in Newport Ritchie. Oh, uh, see, I've never looked up property records, so I didn't really know how it went. I, I would because only, it's the only woods. reason I looked it up is it's, because it's they said, unallocated they land that, that he they, owns. Hold on. Let me explain this to you, you guys. They've cut down all those woods. That used to just be woods. That's what you're not understanding. It's unallocated land. There's never been an address on that land. He bought several properties in Hudson and Newport Ritchie that are just that's never had a house on it it's never had electricity on it so it, there's never been an impact fee paid on this piece of property so there is it's so illegal for them to have those two things there because there's no septic there's no water 
What they've done is they've moved the well that was in the middle of this yard and they've moved it over to where it's behind the tree. That property, that, that tree right there does not, that's a totally different property. That's woods. That's woods. So they've, they've moved this trailer here with a shit pipe running down with no fucking goddamn septic tank, okay, into the woods, cut down the woods, moved a water pump over here, and now they're trying to move this over here. But they've also got Tent City going on behind there. I'm going to show y'all video. Hold on. Here's more of the conversation. A piece of paper right in front of me, and the cops are like, they own it. And I said, no, they don't. That's unallocated land. Because I had, and so that's when I looked it up, and that's when I found you. And now, I, uh, you have the police number that you dealt with. No, I don't even know if they made a report. But if you, I can look on the police website and I can search my address because I called the cops on on them because they were they were up all night. They were screaming as soon as I I go to work at like five in the morning and I um. Yeah. I uh, deliver groceries all day, and as soon as I woke up, I'm putting my coffee in the truck, and they're just screaming insults across the road at me, because that's all they can do is, is throw insults at me, you know what I'm saying? I, um, um, yeah, I'm just hoping the cops are going to get them out of there right away with their car. Mm, play the next one. All right. <clears throat> There's a whole fence now. I took video of it. They So you only... They fenced it all in. Like, I think they're trying to say that they live there. Yes. They have a whole fence up. And, uh, like, I, because I got pissed off when I seen, because I woke up to this motorhome. So I walked on this, on the neighbor next to them that don't like them. I walked on their property and walked into the woods. Only half, they have it all fenced in besides a little section of the woods. They have it all fenced in. And I, I took a video, but I sound irate in it, and I don't mean to sound irate, but it's just aggravating. I mean, I, you know. Like, I work, I work every day, and my aunt sits here alone, you know, because she's retired, and he's up there. Yes. 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 Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, Rutherford's a good state, you know, with, um, you know, with the laws like that, you know, they'll put them right in the fucking jail. It's not like that weird. The way you walk away, you have to issue somebody, you know. Yeah. They'll put them right in jail. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to call the police on Monday because I probably have to talk to a detective. I have the lot number and I have all that information. Yeah, and I mean, if, if you want to give them my name, you're more than welcome. I've got security footage of everything. Like, I have okay. cameras focused okay. right on that. I uh, will do, and um, I'll be in touch with you Monday after I talk to the cops or when you get home, whatever, I'll text you. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I'll be here all day Monday, actually, because I have, we bought the, the little piece of woods next to us to extend our yard, and uh, and we are getting it root rake tomorrow. Oh, uh, well, okay. Yeah, because we're just going to put a fence up and make a bigger yard for the kids to play in, because you can't even have your kids on this road anymore because no. because of what's going on. Yeah. I'll talk to you tomorrow then. All right. Thank you so much, Pete. Take care. I'm sorry you're going through this. Oh, no. I really appreciate all your help, man. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. So, yeah, there's the recording. Um, yeah, we are in we are in constant talks. Absolutely. He's actually been on my TikTok. He's on my Facebook. Um, we've been talking for over a month now. He's a very nice guy. He's got grandchildren down here. He lives in another state with his wife. He's got a beautiful family. Um, they are all very, like, American. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, work hard, play hard. They're good people. Good people. Um, well, the problem is, is the video is on the phone that I'm live on. So in order for me to play the video, I would have to come off live. What happened, Renee? They are moving on another motherfucking motorhome. Look at this. Into the woods that don't belong to them. They're renting out another piece of the woods that don't belong to them. That's what's going on. We've got, you know, we've got Methville at its finest. They just, you know, we got boats. We got power poles. We got rape vans. 
We got green bicycles. We got rickshaws. We got the fence. We got the couch. We got the totem pole. Rub that for good luck. We got fucking huge ass lawnmowers, which that's actually a really nice lawnmower. I wonder where they got that. We got bikes. You know, it's just a typical day in Methville. Just a typical. It's a typical day in the neighborhood. A typical day in the neighborhood. Oh, would you be mine? Oh, would you? Hey, hey, you guys, there is a house for sale on the right side of me, and there is a house for sale on the left side of me for $100,000. Anyone want to spend $100,000 or $120,000 to live next door to this? Anyone want to? Anyone want to take out a loan? Take out a loan. I got a beautiful, listen, it's beautiful too. It's on stilts. Me and my aunt would, we just won't pay that much for it because of them. It's nothing in this neighborhood because of this is worth $100,000. The people next door to me, their landowners selling for $160,000 right next door to me, right next door. They'll never get it. You know why? Because of these people, because of these people. That's why everyone's selling in my neighborhood. The whole neighborhood. This this lady has ruined, single-handedly ruined the whole neighborhood. She's ruined it all. Every bit of it. This is Florida. Oh, thank you. Tap, tap, tap. Share the live. I'm actually going to go off live. I've, I've been at this for, for a couple hours now. I'm over it. I want to go eat and watch TV like a normal human being rather than fucking put up with this bullshit every day. Every fucking day. I don't say nothing either. That's the thing. Like, I let it bottle up and bottle up. I wake up every morning at 5 o'clock. I'm like, what's new? What is going to be new in the yard today? Let's see. Listen, y'all should screenshot this. And then what we'll do is screenshot each section of the yard. And I'll post my pictures tomorrow. And we'll see if we can circle the differences. You know, like that one, like what was it that you used to get that magazine when you were a kid? What was it called? High Life or something like that? Highlight. And you would look at one picture and you'd look at the next picture. And then you would circle the differences. That's what we should do. I should come up, come out with a, a weekly different, a weekly photo hunt. A weekly photo hunt. That's what it's like in this bitch. But yeah, so I'm off tomorrow. So expect to be live tomorrow and every day until this thing's gone. Until that thing's gone. Because I'll be damned if they're going to move another motherfucker in this bitch. I'll be damned. I will be damned. Thank you, Melissa. I'm sorry, you guys, that I came on here so irate. But <coughs> God. <coughs> I'm so pissed. I can't wait till nighttime. Wait till you see the new lights that they have. They've got a fucking spotlight that'll fucking, you won't even be a, listen, if a cop came by and start spot, they'd spotlight the cop before the cops spot, spotlight them. And it's yellow too. It's like, it's like a, like there's a fucking alien ship back there. Code enforcement won't do anything. It's not my property. So the homeowner has got to do it. There's at least 20 or 30 people living in the in and out. And I'm not even joking. I don't know that they all live there, but there's 20 or 30 of the same people in and out. It's the same ones. There's there's and obviously new ones. New ones. Cuz what she does is she takes the ad out in Craigslist. She takes the ad out in Craigslist. That's how the first motorhome got here. Cuz I have her on recording telling me that that Jen took out an ad in Craigslist and she answered an ads in Craigslist. And that's how this first one ended up here because she rented out those woods to her. And now there's another one. So go on Craigslist, the Tampa, Florida Craigslist, 
and see if there's an ad for someone renting out space for your camper. See if there is. And then you'll have Jen's number. And then you could call her and ask her. You could just call her and ask her what the deal is. That's the plan. I'm, I'm a loud person. I'm actually half deaf. And I'm angry. I'm not even going to lie. I'm angry. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for the follows, the likes, the love. We're at 88,000. Um, I would take a trip outside. I just don't feel like being live anymore. I'm only staying on here because, look, and I got good neighbors. Look at these two. Good neighbors just walking down the road, and they got to put up with that bullshit. The good neighbors. Because I do have, I mean, fantastic, like kids playing on the road. We got a whole, I have a whole neighbor down the road that they put down a big screen TV, and all the kids play, and they watch the football games, and they play basketball. Great neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even about, but this is not fucking great. This is not fucking great. You know what I'm saying? I, the neighbors that live next to me that the people are... Listen, you want to hear a sad story that pisses me off? All these places are selling. I've got a neighbor that's lived next to me. She's lived next to me for six or seven years. Didn't even... I, like, I know that they live there. Didn't even know that she had a teenage son. She got a 13-year-old. You wouldn't even know she had a 13-year-old. You know what I'm saying? They don't, like, I'm sure they argue. Every family does, you know. But they're, that's how quiet they are. Well, that fucking, the people that they're paying rent to are selling the house next door to me. Okay? So they want $160,000 for this trailer. $160,000. If it sells, those neighbors who have been great neighbors the whole time have to move within 30 days. That's fucking sad. These two people, they work from morning to night like I do. They come home, and that's what... It, I don't even know what days they have off. They probably don't even have days off together. They both work their ass off. That's all I know. And because, because one house went up for sale, now everyone wants to sell, you know? And now these and now they're paying $1,000 a month rent. Do you know how hard it is to find rent around here? Listen, the play, the other place down the road that they took cash for that sold for 100000 cute as can be. Do you know they want $1,400 a month to rent that place out? A trailer. It, I don't give a fuck how cute it is. What happened? What, that, that would have been $500 a month. Two years ago, three years ago, this place that they're trying to sell for $160,000 would have been $40,000. Two year, five years ago, forty or fifty thousand dollars is what you would have got for it. Now they want one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, and somebody's going to pay one hundred and sixty thousand dollars to live catty corner from this. They're going to pay one hundred and sixty thousand dollars to live across the street from this. Come on, what is going on? Tell me, there's not an issue. All right, I got to stop yelling. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't live. I, would, I wouldn't live. Uh, listen, this has all happened in the last year. This was not like this a year ago. To my, my, uncle, my aunt, my cousin sold it to him. It was beautiful, y'all. It, I mean, you could actually, I can't give you the address, but you could actually look up the address, the picture. Okay. So they're saying that Jen's property is worth, they're saying you get $120,000 for Jen's for this place right here, $120,000. Well, actually Jen's place is from this power pole over the rest of this is stolen land, but they're, they're saying you get $120,000 for Jen's piece of property, but guess what pictures show? The pictures of when my cousin sold it. It don't show those pictures. It don't sure don't show those pictures on there. I ought to update the website. Is that possible? Can I just go on Zill and, and upload current pictures?
Can I do that? I think I need to do that. And then this way it has that nice $140,000 price tag. Maybe it's $140,000 because it's got, because it's, it's comes with the stolen piece of rental property. Maybe that's why, because they want $160,000 for, for the, and trust me, the place next door is much nicer than Jen's much. And it's got a beautiful fenced in yard. And, but here's the thing is you got to live catty corner from Jen. You got to live. And if you buy the place, you're kicking out a, a, a beautiful family. So you should feel bad about yourself. And if anyone goes over there and tries to buy it, I'm going to go over there with a sign and that says, welcome to Methville. Welcome to Methville. Just so they don't, just so they don't sell it. Just so that person don't get to sell that property underneath that beautiful people that live there. I am. I'm going to get signs made. Welcome to Methville. Five million views on this property and the county hasn't done nothing. Welcome to Methville. Welcome. I did. I I threw I actually played the uh the sound clip. He's calling he's calling tomorrow. He should be in town in the next week. He he is furious. He's absolutely furious. I'm furious too. Listen, and I've been quiet. I haven't said a thing until this. Now they've that's what started it up again. I'll be damned if they're moving another person on this property. I'll be damned. Yeah, everything's just wide out out there. Just wide out out there. And that's when I, I fought. Listen, there's part three and four to the video I haven't posted of us fighting. We fought for a good 20 minutes. My neighbors came over and everything. We fought for a good 20 minutes about it. And, and I told them, I said, I, I've been nice, but I'm going to go live every single day. And I'm going to post video after video of everything that goes on. on Because when it's outside your window... If, unless they've got a privacy fence going across their whole property, it is considered public. So I am going to record them and I'm going to post, because me being nice about it and not saying nothing didn't work. It did not work. Obviously, y'all, look what it's turned into. This is because I was quiet and didn't do nothing. Trying to be a good person, you know, feeling bad for the people that lived over there. Then they decide, oh, let's just move another one in. Here we go. Round two, fight. So I'm going to sell my videos because Neighbor Wars has contacted me three times and I've turned them down. And I've got the producer's cell phone number because he actually, actually he called me. He wanted my videos so bad. And I told him, no, I'm going to sell my rights to my whole entire playlist called Neighbors to Neighbor War. That means Neighbor Wars will own every video I have and it will play on A&E and it's going to get national news coverage now. National. And I can pull up the emails from them too. I don't just blow smoke. <coughs> so just so y'all know, get ready for Neighbor Wars, the new season, because we're going to make them. We're going to make them. No, the, the one cop was really nice to me, but the first cop that pulled up, the first thing he said to me, is there anything illegal going on right now? And I said, no. <laughs> and he's like, well, then why am I here? Because I'm not going to say anything. And I was like, listen, can you just make a report so I have something? Because I want to go to the courthouse and get a restraining order. And he's like, I'm not doing nothing if there's nothing illegal going on. So then I started going into the whole story with, story of, of exactly how this all went down. And then the other cop came and then the other cop was so nice. He's like, no, that's what we're here for. Call us anytime. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. Y'all can be screaming at each other all day long. There's nothing they can do about it. 
There's nothing they could do about the land because the person that owns the land has to call. So that's when I contacted and got a hold of the, the landowner. Hudson, Florida. Oh, it's rigged. 100% rigged. Um, I think the van runs because I see it moving moving in and out. Um, I don't know about the front car. <coughs> they had it covered for a while, but they uncovered it and they moved it over there. They sold Jen's car, the car that had the that was being held up by a log because it had no tire because somebody stole the tire off of it. They sold that. That's gone. They had all this cleaned up, and then all of a sudden they put the trailer back. They put the couch out. So I thought... Maybe Neighbor Wars called them because they have the couches out like they're going to watch me for once. And come to find out, I, so I, I messaged her and, I, and they said no and they would not want to be on Neighbor Wars. That's what they messaged me. Because I actually got offered quite a bit of money um, for it. And I'm just going to take it. <laughs> Look at that. I'm tired of it. I am sick of being, uh-uh, nope. Nope, sick of it. No, the cops aren't doing nothing. They're not they're they're not doing a damn thing, trust me. Trust me, because the, the shit that I have on camera <laughs> <laughs> You should have seen the brawl that was outside the house just just yet uh I think it was Thursday. Thursday. That was an interesting day. And that was with the other neighbors too. It's not just me that has a problem with this. Thank God. Because I, sometimes I do feel like, man, maybe I'm the problem. You know, maybe it is me. Maybe I'm just, but uh, my other neighbors fight with them all the time too. And then when I was fighting with them today, my other neighbor came down the road and I felt really bad because he's ready to fight these people. And he doesn't need, I don't want anyone I don't want I don't want anyone fighting them and then anyone getting in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I listen. And there's fence stacked up behind it. I thought for a while maybe maybe they're getting a privacy fence to put out front because that's what I would do if I had that much junk. You know, I just put a privacy fence up. Um, but they never put it up. They they just put the three slats up. And this is what it is all day long. People in and out, in and out. <coughs> They're picking up their bike parts, you know? They gotta, they gotta get the special sprockets and stuff. All day and all night long. All day and all night long, I'm not joking. Listen, last week or the week before, I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I hear a bunch of honking outside, okay? And someone's yelling, get out of the road, crackhead. They have a whole shrimp boat. I'm not talking like a dinghy. I'm talking about a massive ship. Some guy came with a pickup truck dragging a massive fucking shrimp boat behind him that took up the whole entire road. It was like leaning over onto my property as, it, as it's driving down the road. Parks there. Side, there were four cars lined up behind it and they're honking who comes and picks up their dope with a shrimp truck who brings the shrimp truck i mean the shrimp boat who brings the shrimp boat it's it's like i know i'm yelling i can't help but yell i'm a yeller i'm just a yelling kind of person it's just my personality y'all but yeah forrest gump was here you know Getting the fucking meth under glass, or what would they call that? Like, it, it's blue, it's the blue mat, it's the white mat. You know, I don't know. 
But yeah, nothing's going on, y'all. Nothing at this house is going on at all. Listen, I'm not even a cop caller. It's just, I'll be damned if I'm going to, like, come on. Come on. If you lived and you knew that this woods belonged to nobody, and they're just steadily moving more people in, moving more people in, moving poor people in. Oh, my drone has been broken, but my drone is actually should be here Monday or Tuesday. My brother-in-law, my brother-in-law had to, um, cause I wrecked it. I crashed it. So my brother-in-law had to, had, cause we had insurance on it, had to make an insurance claim. Cause he's the one that bought it for me. And, um, it's actually on its way back. I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday I'll have my drone again. This is Florida. This is Florida. This is welcome to Methville, capital of Florida. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I really appreciate everything y'all are doing. The likes, <coughs> the shares. I know this live's gotten a little bit boring, but that's because it's, I've been on for a long time. I'm not really a live kind of a person. <coughs> I just um, got pissed off at my neighbors and decided I'm gonna I'm gonna end the neighbor strike because I've been on. I haven't been posting about them, and they're. They take up a lot of my motherfucking life. I ain't even going to lie. I'm always on my damn cameras because of them. And the fireworks and the bullshit. And then the up all day, night, all night long. They're up all night. All night. Stephanie, yeah, she is. I, I That's the only... Th and I swear, I know she hates me because of this. But... The only reason we haven't done anything is because of Stephanie and her children. Because Stephanie is a good mother and she takes care of her kids and her kids are well behaved, well taken care of. But that's bullshit. But see, here's the thing. I don't really know what goes on over there. I don't live over there. But the only reason anything ain't been done is because of that single mom. Yeah, I've lived here 15 years. What do you mean I choose to live here? I've lived here 15 years. This has this has been going on for the last 8 months. Well, no. I know you just said you allowed this for eight months. No, this has gotten worse. It started off small. We and we argued about it a little bit here and there. Shit went down. Then I decided, you know, maybe I'm being crazy. Maybe I'll just leave them alone. Not wild them up all the time. And I'll leave it alone. I'll leave, and then they just more and more shit just happens. More and more shit gets built up. And now they've decided. They're going to cut more of the woods down that they don't own and they're going to back this new place up and we're going to have a whole nother people living there. A whole nother people living there. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that remember it back when it was, it really wasn't that bad. It was getting better. <coughs> it was actually getting cleaned up and she was doing a really good job. And I don't know if the, the dope got better or if, if, if more people started coming over. 
<laughs> and I've even got, listen, I got video of them playing with the water hose for days. I never posted any of it. Like they're literally, that's one thing that they like to do when they're tweaking. They like to spray everything off. Like they will spray this bike, this bike pile right here. It may look dirty, but it's been sprayed off with so many different people by so many different water hoses that they are the cleanest mother effing bikes. You could sell those suckers to someone with OCD. That's how clean they are. Okay. And I've got video. I never posted any of it. I got such funny videos that I could post about shit that I've seen over there. Never posted any of it. And now I'm going to post it all. Game on. I'm sorry. Like, no, I actually still feel bad. I might not post it. I still really do feel bad about this. But here's the thing. This is all I can do. This is all I got, y'all. I got nothing else. Nobody will help me. Nobody will do nothing. They won't do nothing. All I got is y'all. So y'all are coming on this journey with me. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to the journey of my shit show. I don't know what to do. Anyone got any suggestions? Anyone? Just just suggest a way. I'll, I'll read out the good ones. Nope. Cops said no. Cops said no. Yep. More new people. We got a fence. Film. I know. That's the only thing I could do. Listen, I tried not to do that. I really did try not to do that. But that's all I could do. Boom, 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 boom. Sue the owner. I don't know how you would sue. See, but that's the thing. I feel bad about when I do, when I post the funny videos, I feel bad because I don't want to be making fun of people. You know what I'm saying? But I also, you ain't moving another motherfucker in. I hate to tell you. I'm putting my foot down. I will go live every single day and everyone in the world will watch and we'll see who moves in. That's what we're going to play. Who's moving in? Who's moving in? That's the new game. I'm put, I'm sorry. Oh, he's done. He's done. Bye. See you in a couple days, probably. Tell him you're sick. No, I'll call him later. TJ is definitely sick, y'all. Can I show everyone your banana? Yeah. Look, y'all. TJ drank too much, and he he's not he hasn't drank in a long, long time, and he didn't realize how many he drank, okay. and he's been puking ever since. Well, after I ate that cheeseburger, it stopped. But he just have no energy. Well, I hope you get better. He just wants me to play the game, but I can't. I can't even open my eyes. Oh, bro, someone else is hungover. I think it was Paula said she's hungover. Oh. They said a, a oh. teaspoon of vinegar and some tomato juice. <laughs> it's not that hungover, so I just got to Listen, I wish they would put up that privacy fence. Please put up the whole privacy fence. Just put the whole thing up across the yard, please. <laughs> For God's sakes, you have they have it all there. They tweak enough. Listen, when I seen that privacy fence there, I thought it was just three panels. And then there well, they might have already you listen, maybe they used that privacy fence on another job because I'm looking through the fence slats right now. Oh my sister! My sister's here! Oh, y'all, my sister's here, y'all. My sister's here. Oh, sister. Oh. Y'all, have y'all ever met my sister? Look, hold up. She's all the way down there. Look how many people. Listen, all my, my whole family's here, y'all. My whole family's here, and I'm just in here being live. Look, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, come this way. She might not even know we're live. I just put my phone on. <laughs> Daisy, it's Cynthia. Daisy. Oh my gosh. Can I rent?
rent a freaking space in the yard across Sister, the street? Sister, did you know I was live? Listen, I'm done. I'm done. They had a whole nother one, sister. They put, they, I woke up. Uh, listen, I, I was having such a good day. They spawned a child. Listen. Look at, and it looks as dirty as the other. Listen, <laughs> I was having such a good day. I was sitting on Aunt Margie's porch eating a hamburger. And I turned around. And this was like 12 o'clock, I found out. And I've seen that thing and I about shit on the floor. I said, you have got to be fucking kidding me. I didn't even look at the cameras yet today. So I didn't even know they moved that motherfucker there. I was having such a good morning. But why, how, how does it fit there? Did they cut down more shit? Oh, you haven't seen the, the whole, I got a video of the, I talked to Pete today, the owner. And um, he's, he's there, it's going down. It's going to be finished. Yeah. It's going to be finished. They should have never put that there. I was pissed. I was fucking pissed. So I went out there right away. And I was like, I don't know who the fuck you think you're moving in here. But that shit ain't fucking happening. I came over here just to say hi because Jared fell asleep and it's our anniversary. Oh, happy so anniversary. <laughs> and he's sleeping. And I said, the hell with it, I'm leaving. I'm going to go see my brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, and then TJ's sleeping with his banana. Is that a banana or is that a chicken? TJ is hungover bad, sister. Oh, it's me hard. Yeah, I know. I thought I saw legs. Oh, I think that's why everyone's outside. That's why everyone's outside. Listen, y'all, I'm going to end my live because my sister's here and I want to go. Everyone's saying outside? happy anniversary. Everyone's outside because TJ's sick, probably. Because it's my anniversary, really. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, y'all, I promise. You got your boots Wait till water? seven. Yeah, I promise I'll come back on. Listen, if the spotlight goes on tonight, I'll come on, y'all. There's a big old spotlight that I've won that literally, literally it lights up the whole fucking woods. It's like there's a fucking, I'm telling you, it's like there's an alien, like there's a UFO back there. It's so bright. And like I was looking, so the other night I was just looking around because there's other, other of my neighbors. I have great neighbors. I've got these back neighbors that have great parties for their kids with the blow ups and all that. And, and they're, they, you know, they bought the property next door. So they've got a huge yard, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a normal yard. And then they have a whole extra yard. That's a yard for that. Their kids play in. Well, they have security lights. Okay. And it's normal security light. This light that these that they have running behind that motorhome is is brighter than an airport fucking light. I don't even, it's like a UFO. I'm telling you, something's landed back there. Anyways, I gotta get off this live, y'all. I got I gotta go hang out with my family. I love y'all. Mod Val, please. Oh. Shoot, I can't remember how we did that. Um, oh man, I never pay attention to the screen, y'all. I'm very sorry because if it wasn't for the people that come in here and do that, um, y'all wouldn't even know what the hell was going on because I just ramble. Um, let me figure out this mod thing real quick. Val, oh, Val, I thought you were already a mod. I remember you. Why are you not a mod? Maybe she wasn't a mod. Manage guests. I think that's good. Mute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that too. You can block accounts too. All right. Hey, listen. Do you, you want me to just leave this on? You want me to just leave this on while I go outside with my family? TJ's just sleeping in here. Leave us in the window. All right, y'all. How, do, is this the look y'all want or y'all want the look of like this? Please leave us. Landscape. Listen, let's take a vote because some you won't be able to read comments if I go landscape. So do y'all want landscape? Everyone who wants landscape, say landscape. Everyone that wants wants no say no everyone's saying house all right and how zoomed in do you want it do you want it like that or you guys want it like that
All right, y'all. TJ won't be talking to you. If it dies, it dies. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. If it dies, it dies. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. If it dies, it dies. Y'all, if it dies. Send if it dies, it dies. Yeah. 